Hey and welcome back to my channel Little Pearls of Randomness. My name is Lauren and today I'm showing you how to do this makeup look. Now this makeup look is for Halloween. I don't think anyone can really walk around with it any other time of year. Um, it is really easy to put together and you probably have most of the stuff already so you don't have to go out and buy much um, if you do want to put it together. And if you would like to see how I did this then please keep watching. And as always I need to keep my hair out of my face so I'm doing that with a headband. Don't know if you can tell but I do have some makeup on my face so I need to remove it with some micellar water. Super ooh. Okay, now on to my least favorite foundation yet again, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation, and it is in the color porcelain, so it is perfect for making your skin look way lighter than it should be. And like the zombie makeup, I'm doing two layers of this just to make sure that my skin is extra white. Continuing on in the super pale theme, I'm using some NARS creamy concealer in vanilla to knock out any dark circles that I have underneath my eyes or in anywhere else. And I'm just setting it all in place with the NARS Reflecting Press Powder. It helps remove the stickiness from my foundation and the concealer and ensure that everything's not going to budge. So now to the eyebrows. I'm just going to try and make my eyebrows look as natural as possible but as defined as possible in a natural kind of way. So I'm using the Benefits Goof Proof to just color in my eyebrows. Yes, they do need dyeing. And then I will go over with another pencil just to flick through and make it look like there's actually hairs in there. Into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, one of my favorite palettes. And I'm just gonna try and create a natural eye look. So I'm going into Marzipan, which is sort of like a, a peachy color. And then over the top, I will be using another color called Champagne. Next, I'm going to be going into Semi Sweet, and I want to make a sort of a shadow above where my natural crease line is, um, so you can see it, because I do have quite hooded eyes. To add some extra definition, I'm going into Triple Fudge, and I'm going in very, very carefully with that one. I don't want that one to blend out as much as Semi Sweet. And then I am going into it again with a pencil brush to make it more defined. For the final definition of that space, I'm going into an eye pencil and I'm just dragging it across and over the top of that eyeshadow. All dolls have really big eyes, so I'm just going to line it, the top of mine very, very thinly with a liquid eyeliner and just give it a really small flick at the end. Using a nude colored eyeliner, first I'm going in and I'm lining my waterline. And then I'm using that same pencil to drag underneath the waterline, so where I usually put eyeshadow, to make my eye look even bigger. Back into the chocolate bar palette, I'm going into the white and I'm just going over the top of that just to set it. Into Semi Sweet, I'm just going to take a really thin brush and I'm going to create a line underneath where I put the eye pencil so it looks like that is where my natural waterline and lash line meet. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit so it looks like a proper shadow. Mm -hmm. 
Once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to take a brush and take some of that same color on it and connect it up to the top where those colors and those shadows meet so it looks like my eye is properly connected. Then I am taking a liquid eyeliner again and just extending that flick out. With the eye pencil, I'm just taking that underneath where that shadow goes so it looks like that is where my proper waterline is and where my lashes are. All dolls have really rosy cheeks, so I'm taking my most horrific colour, Dolly Mix, to do this. And then over the top, I'm going to put on a softer pink, so the dainty one, and just make it look like it's a little bit more realistic. Now I'm going to prime my lips with the ColourPop Lip Primer. To keep with the really girly theme of the doll look, I'm going in with a light pink lipstick. Because I'm quite pale anyway, pale lipsticks don't tend to look that great on me, so I've decided to create some shadow underneath my lip so it pops out a little bit more, and then I'm just going to blend it out a little bit just to give it a shadow look. To make my lashes look really big, first I'm going in with the MAC Extended Play Mascara, and then on top of that I'll be going in with the Sephora Outrageous Curl. Okay, so I need to give the illusion that I have bottom lashes, so I'm using that same liquid eyeliner and sort of dotting it first and then going in and creating false looking lashes. And then a final top coat with a Sephora Outrageous Curl. Okay, to the most fun part of doing this makeup, I'm using the Sleek Eyeshadow Palette and I'm using the matte black to create the cracks and also using an eyeliner brush to create those with. So just sort of starting off at one point and sort of cracking outwards so it kind of almost looks like a spider's web and then I'm going to create a little hole by putting a triangle on the side of my face which is the origin where all the cracks start from So I'm also going to create some cracks on the top of my forehead and at the side of my face so it looks like there's another crack right behind but you can't see it because it's in my hairline. Okay, and that is the finished look uh, with the dolls, with the cracked face. Um, hardest part is actually recreating the under the eye, um, the lashes underneath the eye to make your eyes look a little bit bigger. Um, I struggled a little bit with that probably because I was using the wrong eyeliner. The eyeliner I used is quite a sloppy mix so it was sort of getting everywhere and I had to fix it up a few times, just being honest. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and press the bell button because sometimes they, you know, if you don't press the bell button you won't know when every video I upload comes on. Um, I don't know why they've done that, it seems a bit strange anyway. Um, I've got one more Halloween look to show you guys next week so please subscribe and tune in for that one on Wednesday. Hope you're having an awesome day and we'll see you guys back here next week. Bye!